everybody, welcome back to my Raise Up Lava tutorial series. So, the first video has only been out for a couple hours, but it's doing really well. So, um, we're going to get into this new video, and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make him drop cash, and we're going to make him die if his food bowl isn't full. So, let's get into that. You're going to want to open your needs handler script, and then you want to uh, do if, if hunger.value is uh, less than 1. So that's that's the line and then you want to do a, a, a local explosion equals instance dot new explosion this basically just creates an explosion and then explosion dot parent equals uh, game dot workspace dots actually I want to do something right I, I actually want to make this like an actual game so I'm just gonna call this noob and I'm gonna make a game called raise a noob with this so um, so we're gonna do dot noob. Um, so then we're gonna do explosion dot position equals game dot workspace dot. Oh, well we should actually do uh, dot humanoid root part. Dot uh, dot humanoid root part dot position. So basically, if his hunger gets below one, he'll explode. So, so as you can see, and then if his hunger reaches zero, he explodes, and he'll explode over and over again. But that doesn't really matter because we are going to go uh, and make it kick you from the game. So we're going to go to starter player scripts, and then we're going to add a local script. Then we're going to do local hunger equals game dot workspace dot hunger. We're gonna do while this is kind of lazy, but we're gonna do while wait to do if hunger dot value is less than one, then and we're gonna do game dot players dot local player kick you lost. We're gonna go and play here. So we're gonna wait for him to run out of hunger unless he eats right now. Nope, and it says you've been kicked from this experience, you lost. So we already have that done. We did that pretty quickly. Okay, so now we're gonna add cash and monies and stuff. So if you go here, search cash, <clears throat> and you got this stack of cash right here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then let's call this cash. Let's drop it over in replicated storage and let's add a script inside of cache. Okay, so we're gonna do our cache script a little differently than the way Ray's Plapa does it. So we're gonna add a uh, click detector inside of our little cache thing in replicated storage. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, script.parent.clickdetector.mouse click uh, connect function. Um, and then we're going to do script.parent destroy. And then we're going to insert a, another integer value in a workspace. And we're going to call it uh, money or cash, whatever the hell you want to call it, really. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to do uh, game.workspace.money.value equals game.workspace.money.value plus, let's say, five. So now we're going to go to our little noob or whatever you want to call it, your little plapa. You're going to go to this script and you're going to add a click detector to your humanoid root part. Okay, so we're going to put a script in humanoid root part. Um, so we'll just code it here. So script.parent.clickdetector.mouse click connect function. You're right, you know. And then. Um, Local cache equals game dot uh, replicated storage dot cache dot clone or cache and then two dots and clone cache dot parent equals game dot workspace cache dot position equals uh, script dot parent dot position. Um, you want to put that script in humanoid root part just to make sure it doesn't like fall through the map or anything. Uh, make sure your cache is like real high up. Then if we hit play here, 
We go over, we can click our guy, and he will spawn cash. We should probably actually unanchor the cash because it needs to fall down. So let's spawn him in and like he'll poop out cash. We can click this and if we go and look, our money is uh, being updated. He's trying to he's trying to walk out of the house. He don't want to be here no more. Okay, so um, now we're gonna make a UI that displays your cash. Now I'm really lazy with UIs and stuff like that. So what I do is I go to workspace uh, or I go to toolbox and I look up subtitle. And I just get the first one, which is subtitle GUI. Then I delete the script, and the GUI text, and I grab and I grab this and I put it in starter GUI. Then I remove the script inside of it, and I make it say uh, we'll just do cash and zero. Then let's make it bigger. So let's do 48. And then let's go here and we'll, let's put in cartoon. And let's make it green. And then. To change the position, we go here. We'll do like 0 0.1. You know what? 0 0.09. Um, then let's make it go down a little bit more. And then let's add a script to this. So we'll do game dot workspace dot um, money dot value. Okay, so let's do while wait, like 0 0.5 do. And then let's do uh, game.workspace. Okay, sorry, let's do script.parent.text equals um, cash, then dot dot, and then game.workspace.money.value, and then we'll do dot dot, and then we'll do a money sign here. If we hit play here. See it's updating and then we spawn in some cash as you can see it updates whenever we click it it displays our money so pretty cool so we have a we're, we're getting close to an actual game here next tutorial will be a bit longer because it'll cover the shop um and that'll be a pretty big tutorial we do a lot of stuff in that so anyways guys if you did enjoy this little tutorial uh, please hit that like button down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, and please subscribe and comment and stuff.